Hey, what's up? I wanted to take a second to talk about forms on the web, forms for your website. Now, there's a lot of different ways to integrate forms. There's a lot of different services. There's a lot of plugins, but I wanted to share a couple of my favorite implementations. Now, I consider these to be very practical implementations of forms for websites, and I wanted to start with one that you may already have because I love to avoid reinventing the wheel whenever possible. Okay, now I'm inside the WordPress content management system. Now, you might not be using WordPress. You know, there's WordPress, there's Drupal, there's Joomla. Um, I've, you know, used all these content management systems, and these type of features exist within any content management system, these forms. But um, I just wanted to show you where you might want to look um, for your default forms. Now, um, you're website might already have some forms integrated now there's two options I have right out of the box I'm always using a custom WordPress theme by elegant themes and they're one of my favorite theme providers I use them all the time I love their themes I'm really used to their code so um, you know I've been using them for years I, I've used to how they do things in the PHP coding environment so I really use them a lot and they give me a page template now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're working with pages and not posts and all content management systems have this difference built in to where a page is a static page it's always gonna be there like something dedicated for a um, like a contact form um, so down here I have a contact page and as soon as I choose that it gives me the option to make that page full width have CAPTCHA and email that to somebody. Now this is a very simple implementation of a contact form. Um, I'll go ahead and show it to you here. I'm saving it as a draft and then I'll be able to preview it. It will never be live on my site. And here we go. See, basic contact form integrated here. Okay, um, so right out of the box, uh, I'm using a premium paid solution I have these options available to me now if I don't want to go that route right I just want to use my regular page template WordPress and in particular Jetpack which is published by Automatic who make WordPress and uh, they give you this nice little contact form button to where you can st just start adding a contact form to this page and this is going to give you a little bit more flexibility than that default implementation and this comes and ships with most WordPress sites out of the box you might have to install a jetpack and that's a simple process but uh, here we can add you know, name email website a comment it comes with the basics built in here but then there's a little button to add a new field right and this is where you can start building some custom forms now with this I found it's easy to get tricked up you can't it's it's you know you have to sell it you have to use that old web strategy of selecting something and then doing something to it so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you select things and then do something to it when you're trying to work in this environment and you know you have to work in these little drop downs and text areas and you know whether it's required or not you have a lot of flexibility here so you can kind of build your own form out this way and these are just the built-in options I'll just go ahead and click add to my post throws it in there with all this code you'll get really used to this code if you're working with these all the time let me tell you and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save that as a draft and preview it also uh, just so we can see how that looks All right, yeah, and okay, so you could probably insert some type of style or some other things to make these fields um, a little bit prettier, but, you know, this is a way you can build your own field. This was the, you know, uh, new field I added, and you see I marked it as required, so they have to fill it out to submit this form. Um, whoops, and uh, that's just two ways to look at integrate forms out of the box here. I want to go ahead and share with you one of my personal favorite ways to integrate forms on websites I'm going to be handling for a long time that are going to have some integrated marketing plans. It's not a free solution. It's WooFoo Forms. Don't let the name fool you. WooFoo Forms is a serious form integrated service. 
okay? Now, again, it's not a free service. I'm not gonna get into pricing, but it's really reasonable. I just wanted to touch on some of the basic features and then maybe mention a few of the more advanced features that Wufu offers that might interest your organizations. Okay, well, I'm here at Wufu Forms, uh, Wufu Forms Online Form Builder. This is the homepage. I'm not logged in yet. I uh, just wanted to show you what you're going to be confronted with when you come here, and it's real friendly. There's a lot of uh, things you can explore if you have any questions about what these forms can do for you. Um, they're really awesome. Now, I wanted to click on pricing. I know I said I wouldn't go into this too much, but I want to click on pricing and show you that it is a very affordable service if you'd like to use this for your business. Um, I use it for a lot of my uh, clients, and it is a very powerful. If you're going to be trying to gather a lot of data from a lot of different groups of individuals, because you know you have people who are already customers, and then you have people who could be customers, and then you have um, your uh, people who you supply maybe feeds to on the web or certain types of industry information to. You know, really it helps you um, quickly and efficiently build ways to gather information from all these different groups of people and send it and notify the necessary people in a really efficient way. Let's get into it. Now I'm inside of the Wufu online form builder service. Now this is what you're confronted with when you say, hey, I just want to make a new blank form, right? Um, well, look, it says you don't have any fields, you should add a field. And there's a lot of fields you can add. And these are all very powerful features that are much more difficult to to code than they are to click on and you see I clicked on that it added it here right and first name last name and what what I like most about this is okay so I added that but then there's settings for each field and you can make them kind of fancy title first name last name suffix if you need to and you know I don't have time to go into all these options and you don't want me to this uh, interface is so intuitive that you know you end up zipping right through and once you're used to it you know adding these drop down menus um, with you know their choices and things like that uh, once you get used to it um, I'm serious you can really whip through some creation of some powerful forms online and it goes even further now this is the Wufu form gallery where you can find pre-built templates for just about any type of form that you can imagine. There's categories and then when each inside of each category there's a ton of templates for all types of different things and this is a good example of some of the things that are possible inside of Wufu forms when you are a paid subscriber. I think they have a free tier too. I, I haven't been a free member for so long I forget how it works but just wanted to give you an idea of some of the powerful things that you can do inside of Wufu. Now you might be asking yourself well okay those forms are cool but you know is it gonna work with my was it gonna look good in my website you know um, well that's a good question let me tell you something you can style just about every part of this form to match your website theme and it has this cool theme builder you can see I already have some themes in here from from other things but you know I kind of you know I already have one built that's kind of whited out but you can come in here and for each element in the form there's all these sub elements so you can pretty much grab just about any little element inside of this form builder from the text shadows you know the buttons you know and apply a styling here now if you even want to go a step further you can apply your own custom CSS classes and then style it however you want if you have a programmer that's down to do that for you um, so as far as flexibility goes and getting these forms to work with your site totally flexible now you might be asking yourself how do I get those forms into my website well there's a little link inside of your administrative panel that says get the code it's really easy to find and once you get here they give you so many options of ways you can get these forms onto your website 
And really, I just always end up using the second one. I mean, you can link to the form to where it goes to a nicely formatted page that's dedicated to that form, but I always use this form embed code, and uh, I usually pull the JavaScript version, which is recommended. Now, if you're using a WordPress content management system website, they have a plugin. You just add the plugin, and then you throw the short code in there. Um, works great. It's always worked for me. Um, I've used it in the past. I don't use it right now, but um, that is a good option. I just you know, don't like going through the extra step to install the plugin. Um, I usually just use this one right here and it says recommended next to it so that makes me feel really good about using it. Um, but it's that easy to get your form on a website and if you want an example of using this type of form just go to my website deltonchiles.com and click on contact and that is a WooFu form using the embed code. Okay, so I've showed you some basic bare bones forms. I've showed you WooFu, a high level really simple to use form system that integrates with all kinds of external services and has APIs that your developers can use to access your form services, right? So what do I use? Well, I use them all. It depends on the project. If I have a simple blog that is going up and they aren't going to be doing a lot of you know, conversion tracking right off the bat in the first six months, just building site content, then I use my bare bones forms. Now, there's all kinds of statistics that are going to, you know, once you start looking into form conversion ratios, there's all kinds of statistics that are going to scare you into saying, well, each time you add a field to your form, you're going to decrease your conversion rate. Uh, the number of people who complete that form and submit it, you're going to decrease that conversion rate by a certain percentage. But really, all you need to remember is just collect the information you need. You can always scale things up, but you want to make your form as simple as you possibly can. I hope that helps out. If you ever have any questions, you can always find me online at deltonchiles.com or hit me up on one of the social media sites.